Okay, so previously I had shown you how to do some basic crafting things you can craft by hand and things you can craft just by using the fire. Today we are going to be talking about more advanced crafting that requires not only something like a workbench, but also something to process your resources. In this case, the carpentry workbench. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going to get some logs. So we're going to chop down some trees. We're going to bring them over to our carpentry workbench here. We're going to process those logs into uh, resource components that we can more easily use. And then we will start to build those resources or use those resources to build one, some weapons on the workbench. And two, we are going to complete the construction of the rest of these stations. So first things first, we're going to need some more logs. So make sure that you have an ax and make sure you have ways to repair it and or replace it because you will go through that axe really quickly. Right. So we'll grab our cart and we are going to find a nice area that has a whole bunch of trees left. You go, Thackard, what about these trees? I like them around my base. I don't want to chop them down. They look nice. If I chop those trees down, I'm going to reduce the land value. Never going to be able to sell this place afterwards. Okay. So, we have brought our cart over here. And drop this. This is definitely one of the items I suggest everyone builds, like, first thing. This is a log cart. And when you are chopping down trees, you can either bring them back one at a time or you can put them on your log cart and you can t carry back six at a time. So, I mean, it's easy math. Trying to make life easier. All right. So first thing we're going to do over here, because this is not a singles day's worth of stuff, we're going to create a little area that we can sleep over here because... We'll definitely want to sleep. All right. So we have taken off all the leaves, and now we are going to hit G. Or you can do it two ways. You can hit, either hit E and then hit space to cut stuff down, and we'll get two common logs. And I'll show you how much health we need on, need on our axe, as well as the time, and the current thing that we're using. Or I can just hit G from here, and it'll pull up that same menu. So there we go. So now we have two logs, and we're going to drop them on our cart. If you look here, we don't have enough resources or enough health left on this axe to uh, use it again. So we're going to repair it once here. This is probably the last time I'm going to repair this axe, because every time you repair it, it's going to lose durability. All right, so we have 74 durability to work with. I want to see if I can find a tree that has two on it, or we can cut down two trees that have one. That'll, that'll work too. All right, we'll cut this one down. Then we will also. Uh, let's take a let's take a nap first, so we can keep our energy up. Where's that bed at? There it is. And we are going to sleep till full. Because this takes a lot of energy. Alright. And we will keep cutting down these logs. Alright, so we are back at camp here. We have brought back our pile of logs. And we're going to take one and toss it on our carpentry workbench. There you go. And we are going to process this into a couple of different things. First off, I'm going to process this one into a hollow log. It's going to require one log, an axe, and then our workbench for three hours. So this isn't something that's super quick. But the reason why I'm using this is so we can get this guy over here set up. This is a water collector. 
So what else we need for this? We need to have four big branches. I don't know if I'm going to have four big branches. I might. Uh, a liana rope and some wide leaves. Okay, so I have returned from grabbing some water. Went down the beach, got a couple coconuts. We are going to craft this up. Just going to take 10 off of our hammer, about an hour and 56 minutes. And then we are going to have a wooden rain water collector. It will gather 10 units of water water for us wonderful so the next time it rains we will have a fresh source of water here and all we will have to do is either drink it or we can use something to collect it in the next thing we're going to be crafting is this little guy over here it is a food dryer as you can see we've already put the stuff that we need in here except for our split logs so once again last time we made a hollow log this time we're going to make some split logs, so we'll grab our common log off the pile, bring it on over here, and we are going to make a split log. Does our saw have enough health on it? Yes, it has enough for one more saw on it, so we're going to saw that up. Boom. Now our stone saw is unfortunately broken, so we're going to have to make a new one. So we'll grab a large stone here, bring it on over, and we will turn this into a new saw for us to use. Excellent. <sighs> Store this for right now. All right, we'll take a quick nap, and then we are going to actually, yeah, we'll take a quick nap, and then we'll finish this guy up. Always with the sleeping. Okay, here we go. Place the last two parts and we will craft this guy up. There we go. Excellent. Some of our clothing has been broken. But now we have a food dryer. Which if we take things like dates and or mushrooms. We can. Fried meat too. Look at that. We'll grab some mushrooms at some point. There we go. We have put... So now those dates are on the little dryer there, and after a while, we will have some dried dates, which we can eat. Up next, we're going to finish up this guy. It's going to require one split log, and this guy over here is going to require two split logs and two half logs. So we need three split logs and two half logs. So let's make the half logs first. Grab our guy back. There we go. Hang on, real quick, like I'm going to repair my clothing. That way I don't get sunburned in the morning. So we are going to make those half logs now. Make those up. Drop these off. Kind of heavy. Right. Place those half logs. Then we're going to make the last of the split logs that we need. Need one more. While we put the log on there first, that will always help. And here we go. So we will dump one of them in here. Obviously, I've already made some stuff, but I wanted to make them again for you all. Oop, wrong one. This one. Boom, there we go. All right, so once again, we need our hammer. We can make this guy up three and a half, uh, about four hours on this guy, about an hour and a half on that guy. So 
We'll make this one first and then we will take a nap. We'll make the next one. Quickly, we're going to get a little more food in our belly. Food and water. There we go. And sleep. Excellent. Oh, our axe broke while we were trying to make that. Unfortunately, if you run out of durability, like when you're making something, you have to do the entire thing over again. So make sure that your tool has enough health on it to make everything. All right, so we now have our pottery workbench. We also have our tanner's workbench. As you see here, we don't have any blueprints for the tanner workbench, but we do have some blueprints for clay strips and clay bricks. So this will require us to find more pieces of clay, which is what we're going to do right now. Now for clay, the best spot to find clay is around these water sources right here. So you can see there is a water source here. There is also another one that is up here that I haven't uncovered on the map yet, but I know where it's at. So I'm going to go grab some clay and then we're going to make a couple of strips and maybe even a pot. And then we're going to make a couple of weapons off of the workbench. So see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, so I have gone out and grabbed a couple more resources. And now we're going to start crafting our stuff. So first off, we're going to grab this stone spear. We're going to craft this up and we're going to craft up a weak bow. And then I think we will go over to the other side and see if we can't craft up some pottery. So I know that for the stone spear, I need a stone cutter. We need a long stick and a liana rope. So we will make this guy up next. All right, we finally got ourselves a stone spear to replace our wooden one. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Next up, we are going to make the bow, which I believe was a rope and four long sticks. So we'll grab four long sticks and a rope. And we now have ourselves a bow as well. All right, so we got ourselves a bow. I was able to grab a couple of uh, bone arrows from earlier. But uh, we can make some probably right now as well. Maybe that's the ones we can have. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's go over here and grab some clay. Clay. There we go. We're going to come over here and we are going to do some... Clay strips. I know for certain that the clay blocks don't build anything right now. They're used for more structural based stuff. I think the last time I made them, they are made for the salt water desalination. But we are going to make up two these strips. And if you look here, we've unlocked some more stuff. So we've unlocked a, a feather and ink, another piece of that clay ointment. Advanced chemistry workbench, and here's our raw clay pot. So it takes two of these, and we need an improved pottery workbench to craft this one. So if we look here, we can upgrade this guy, and it's going to take a half log and a long stick. So we're going to upgrade that guy to a newer or more improved crafting station. So I believe we have a half log right here. Is it two sticks or one stick? Looked right at it and then I forgot what it was. Upgrade. There we go. So a half log and a stick. So let's get this guy going. Boom. So now we have... A bigger crafting area. We got ourselves a little wheel and everything else. So if we look here, we can now make a raw clay pot. 
I think we're going to make a couple of them. You know what? Let's take... Let's just take all this stuff. And we'll make up as many as we can. Okay, so here we go. Make up four of these. And we will do that. Nice. Make up four of those. So now since we have raw clay pots, we're going to have to uh, cook these in the kiln. Which means we're going to need some wood to light it up. There we go. I think I have some starters over here in this box. Excellent. I'm going to take a quick nap here. So we have some stamina to work with. All right, now let's light up the kiln. These will cook for how long? Hour and 36 minutes each. Okay. Uh, so we have four. So this should be fine. We'll do one more just in case we, as we're flipping them out, we don't do it very quickly. Oh, try and light it again. There we go. All right, so our kiln is lit, and we are going to make four clay pots. It's going to be take six hours and 24 minutes. Boom, look at that. Awesome. So now we have our cooked clay pots, or burnt clay pots, and these we can use to make the clay, uh, clay rainwater collector, which will give us 30 liquid, and also the hearth with a pot, which will uh, take 60, but uh, it allows us to boil food and make strong medicine. So I think we're going to make one of these up. As the last thing we're going to make. Alright, so I went out and got a couple more rocks. And we are going to replace this with our new cooking area. There we go. Hearth with a pot. I have to be able to move. All right, there we go. Now we can place our hearth with a pot. That will work. We'll add our three rocks and our small sticks. We need to grab three long sticks and a single pot. Go. Let's make this up. All right, there we go. We have our hearth here, which will allow us to... We're going to light this up. That way we can see what all we might be able to build with it. All right, so we can do all of our normal food. We can, we would be able to do some baked meat and clay, baked fish and clay, a berry compote. It's like some chamomile and sage broth. So this opens up a whole bunch of different, uh, oh, what's this? Sea salt, okay, we'll have to get some sea salt. We might be able to make so this will be bread, baked cakes. So yeah, we've opened up a whole bunch of different cooking of things. So we can't do the sea salt right now, but there we go. We got our hearth online. So we've basically completed all of our like medium or to advanced level workstations. So we can make, oh, there was one other thing that I wanted to make before we got done. I wanted to show off the uh, Tanner's workbench. We're going to make two of these tendon threads. There we go. Now that we have our tendon threads, we can do something even more important than anything else. We can now go fishing. So guess what some of the next videos are going to be about. We're going to go fishing, folks. All right. Catch you all later on. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button and to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. 
But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.